Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Parenting Caregiver Corner. As you know, we are now in session three of four, in which we will review the four components of how does learning happen. So this is a resource that we, as an early on center, utilize to support the way in which we provide learning experiences for you and your children. As the document reads, curriculum, which is learning content, and pedagogy, which is how learning happens, in early year settings are shaped by views of children, the role of educators and families, and relationships among them. This document, How Does Learning Happen, helps us educators focus on these connections within early years environments. So there are four components that we incorporate into our planning, belonging, well-being, engagement, and expression. So let's talk about engagement. So this foundation emphasizes the importance of our children being involved and focused in the world around them. Specifically, through exploring our world with their body, their mind, and their senses to help them develop problem-solving skills, creative thinking, and innovative skills. So to quote How Does Learning Happen, engagement refers to a state of being genuinely involved and interested in what one is doing. Optimal conditions for learning occur when we are fully engaged. For children, this happens in play that evolves from the child's natural curiosity. Active play that allows children to explore with their bodies, minds, and senses, stimulating them to ask questions, test theories, solve problems, engage in creative thinking, and make meaning of the world around them. So here's a list of things to try to support your child's engagement. The first one is to provide your children with a wide variety of interesting objects and open-ended materials to explore. Let your children engage with their senses, manipulate objects, and investigate the toys with which they play. This can be as simple as offering your children a bowl of warm water, soap, and some sponges. You might find that the children investigate the bubbles, they might smell the soap, they might stack the sponges outside of the bowl or wear the sponges like a hat. Now that's truly open-ended play. The second thing you can try is to play with children as a co-investigator, co-learner and co-planner rather than a director or keeper of knowledge um, and keeper of plans. So this will require that you give your child the lead in play. Sure, you might have wanted them to use that paper and paint to make a holiday wreath, but encouraging your child to do what they want with that creativity will lead to better engagement. And what's better than being engaged with a loving adult? Follow their lead and listen and observe what they have to say and do. Number three, finally, as has been mentioned before, Ensure that there is a predictable yet flexible schedule for your child. And perhaps take a moment to reflect, you know, how does the flow of your day, example, daily schedule, routines, how does this allow children to make choices? For example, to engage in exploration or to relax and do nothing or to reflect on their experiences. Maybe even as simple as choosing what they want to wear that day. Leave a comment below to share what your child likes to explore. That's it for engagement. Next week, we will discuss expression. Talk to you then.